When I think about other trips that I've been on, obviously I think about the hunting parts, but it seems like more times than not, other parts of the trip get remembered more, get talked about the most. Um, maybe it's somebody that you met, maybe your truck gets stuck, maybe it's a bad storm that you ran into. The trip that we seem to talk about the most was an eight day elk hunt in Southwest Colorado. And over the course of that week, we never even saw an elk. In my opinion, which isn't worth a whole lot, the adventure, that's the memory, the experience, that's the memory. If you get a chance to shoot something and bring an animal home, that's just a bonus. We didn't know it yet, but on the morning of day five in South Africa, TJ and I were in the back of the truck on our way into the blind, and two of those unforgettable memories crossed the road right in front of us. So that morning I got dropped off at a blind that was called the Clipspringer blind. Bob had sat there a few days earlier. Not only did he get a chance to snap a bunch of photos of baboons, but that night they pulled the card from the trail camera and it showed that that water tank was frequently being visited by a beautiful African animal called a sable. So I get settled in just like any other day and quickly animals start moving in. Several hours after lunch, those kudus started to act really strange. They kept looking off to my left and I knew something had to be coming. Another 10 minutes goes by and to my surprise, it wasn't a sable, but a gigantic water buck steps out and he had one thing on his mind, water. I had the perfect broadside shot when he was there at the water tank, but the kudu would not get out of the way. Eventually the water buck walked out of range, giving me no shot, and I just had to hope that he circled back around another time to give me another opportunity. This bull ran less than 80 yards. We walked right up on him. Huh? He's laying right there. Is he? Yeah. Yes. So he came in and was drinking, completely broadside at like 20 yards. Freaking kudu pulled full was standing right in front of him the whole time. Like, and then he got done drinking and then he walked away to the salt. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then I waited and waited and waited. Finally, then he came back to drink and that's when I got him. But it was like, I thought he was just gonna go. And you want some? While we loaded this bull up into the truck, I found out that day five picked up for a lot of our group. TJ connected on a really nice Gems Buck bull and Bob put down a massive African animal called an eland. So I climbed back into the blind that night 
didn't really see any animals, which wasn't necessarily surprising after all the commotion that we just made, but having a front row seat, watching that African sunset was well worth the price of admission. That night, the fire got stoked up as it always does, the steaks got thrown on the grill. This particular night, we were eating beef, but over the course of the week, we got to eat many of the animals that we shot. We ate kudu, niala, gemsbuck, impala, eland, waterbuck, and what we didn't eat during our week in Africa was donated to local families. None of the animals went to waste whatsoever. We finished off our evenings every night as we did by the fire listening to Rayon talk about old African hunting stories, but hey, we've been there five days now and we shot some animals, so we got some hunting stories of our own, but ours always seemed to get a little bit more inflated as the bottle of Jack Daniels became less full. Nonetheless, we stayed up as long as we could, staring at the fire, thinking about what Africa could possibly have in store for us yet. We eventually stumbled back to our rooms just in time to do it all over again the next day. Hey guys, thanks for checking out part three of our trip to South Africa. But don't stop there. In the description below this video, I'm gonna have the links to all five parts of our hunt with African barefoot safaris. Even better, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, hit that red subscribe button, you won't miss anything. As always guys, if you liked the video, thumbs up is appreciated. Leave your comments below, otherwise we'll catch you next time. Peace.